Don't be a boob. For more videos like this one, please subscribe to this channel. Niamatololo said that both his offensive and defensive coordinators will be on the field in the football game played in this 2020 SEC season. It's a remarkable number considering 71 were meant to be played. COVID-19 protocols postponed a handful, but scheduling flexibility prevailed. However, this season was not without its stresses. I spoke with several players from both teams. I asked Florida playing once again for this trophy after this historic, irregular season. Coach, I know the regular season finale did not go the way you had hoped. Take us inside your program on the days leading up to this game and what the emotions were like after that loss last week and how you got your team prepared. How do you match them today? Is it point for point or is there something you have to do defensively? We just got to play our... This last touchdown drive. Walk us through the decision making in terms of clock management. Oh, for, we're trying to score. Yeah, we got to score. Hey, if Alabama keeps playing like this on offense, Nick Saban would be pretty happy. He said consistency has been key. And he said that first half for the offense, as consistent as he had seen all season. 16,000 plus that came here tonight to cheer on the SEC championship, as well as the millions at home. A lot of time at the University of Alabama. You came back here, you made a decision to come back here to play. Was this the ultimate perfect evening for you to cap off your career at Alabama? I mean, most challenging part of this season. You mentioned all of the obstacles this team had to overcome. What was the hardest part? Um, the hardest part really was of this 2020 SEC championship game. Congratulations, coach. You told us at one point this season how close you told us at one point this season how close knit this team is. How did that help in a game like this? Well, you know